What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about one crazy tip that can help you speed up your performance in your SketchUp models. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training for SketchUp. So if you wanna get more in-depth training in SketchUp, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I made a video about the outliner and how you you can use it to keep your model organized and how great it is for uh, doing all of that like uh, managing your groups and your components and different things in your model and that is absolutely true I love the outliner I think it's the most underutilized tool out there for SketchUp right now and I think everyone should be using it that being said there is one thing about the outliner that you need to know while the outliner is a fantastic tool for keeping organized it also updates dynamically when you create new geometry in your model for example if I was to create like a cylinder over here and then I was to push pull it up and make that a group and then I was to make a hundred copies of it using the move tool you can see how all those objects get added in the outliner so you can see how all of these groups got added in here so that's a lot of stuff and now whenever I mouse over them with a tool active you can see how SketchUp is updating to show you which one you've moused over that sort of thing so the reason that's important is because whenever you create a lot of stuff in the outliner, it's going to try to update dynamically. So every time you create a new object in your model, SketchUp has to update the outliner with that new information. So that would be fine, but sometimes SketchUp doesn't handle the new information very well when the outliner is open, which can lead to slow load times or even your model freezing up. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to come in here and we wanted to create a series of tubes along all the lines in here. I've talked about using lines to tubes in order to do this in the past. And so with the outliner closed, it's not really that big of a deal. I would just come in here, I would do a control A to select everything, then I would add a bunch of lines and cylinders. I would create each one as a group. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this, but either way, and then I would go ahead and click OK. And you can see how this comes in here and that creates those tubes really quickly. So that works really well. However, if you come in here and you do the same thing using the outliner, so if you have the outliner open, so if I do a control A, and then I do the exact same thing, if you see over here on the right, this is flashing. The reason it's flashing is because it's coming in here and it's adding all of those groups into your model. And you can see even here, my model hangs a little bit. So while over here, this got created really quickly, you can see how this took another 15, 20 seconds. And this isn't even one, one of the more geometrically heavy things that you're going to use. And so that's one of the downsides of the outliner is whenever you're creating a lot of new stuff in your SketchUp model, it's gonna try to update this in real time and it's really gonna slow down your model. So the fix for this is very simple. You just minimize the outliner. So when you minimize the outliner, things go really quickly. So let's do another example here. We've got our 100 objects right here and I'll go ahead and make a copy of this over here just so that we have it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a copy and I'm gonna create a hundred more of these. So I'm just gonna create this off to the side. I'm gonna type in times a hundred and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create this. And you can see how my SketchUp model performance slowed down fairly significantly. That's because these aren't modeled as components. I didn't use a very good modeling practice in order to do this, but I wanted to demonstrate the outliner. Well now, Let's say that I was to come in here and do the exact same thing with the outliner open. So I was to select all these objects, use the move tool, and then create a copy. And you can see how even creating that one copy is really, really slow. You can see the outliner flashing. Now I have that copy. Let's say I was to just come in here and do a times 50 and hit the enter key. So you can see the outliner is gonna come in here and it's gonna try to update along with that, but you can see how even here my performance isn't very good when it does that. So, I mean, even with something like this, it's not slowing my model down a lot, but once you start dealing with more geometrically heavy things, it's really gonna slow your model down. So again, 
I'm not saying don't use the outliner, but I am saying you just need to be mindful of what you're doing and have it open at the right time, just like any other tool. So when you're creating a lot of geometry, you're moving a lot of geometry around, anything like that, make sure you just click that button and minimize the outliner and you won't run into pro performance issues associated with that. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you know about this issue? Have you been having slow model problems and does this do anything for them? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.